Hello, in this video I'm going to explain how to deploy this system in uh, honeybees. And honeybees can be of the two sexes, uh, queen and worker are females, and drone is male, and uh, worker and queen are deployed, and drone uh, develops from unfertilized eggs, so drones are haploid, so has only one set of chromosomes. So, for example, if uh, this is going to be a queen, queen would be deployed. So, uh, for example, if I would use four set of chromosomes, those uh, bees, uh, deployed bees, has 32 chromosomes and haploid drones has half the number or 16 chromosomes. But today I would use uh, simplification in order to explain uh, haplodiploidy system in honeybees. So drone would get only uh, half of these chromosomes. For So in order to designate uh, chromosome set of the queen, I use two colors to show that half of the chromosome this deployed queen got from the mother side, another half of the homologous chromosomes this queen got from her father side. So drone would get randomly any of these chromosomes. For example, for chromosome number one, drone can get uh, this chromosome from the father side. For the chromosome number two, can get another uh, chromosome from mother side of the queen. And for the uh, chromosome number three, once again, uh, from the mother side of the queen and for the chromosome number four uh, chromosome from the father side of this queen. So this is going to be random set of uh, drones chromosomes. So this drone would be a son of this queen and would develop from unfertilized eggs. So drone doesn't have a father and drones also doesn't have sons, but drones may have daughters. So I will explain later. And uh, as you see, this set can be random. For example, if we would take another drone, so this drone would be a brother of this drone and would have the same mother. So for the chromosome number one, it may get just another chromosome from this uh, set of chromosomes for the chromosome number two also may get the same chromosome as his brother but uh, for the third chromosome may get another one from this set and once again for the last chromosome may get a different one uh, from this set than his brother has. So as you see relatedness between two drones that were uh, developed from the eggs laid by queen from uh, unfertilized eggs would be about 50%. On the overall would be about 50%. So genetic relatedness. And as you see, drones, those uh, don't have um, father and has only one parent, wouldn't be clones of their mother because first of all drones are males and drones has uh, uh, one set of chromosomes instead of two sets of chromosomes. Now let me explain what's going on with uh, female uh, progeny of uh, this queen. So imagine that this worker is a daughter of this queen. Now let me introduce another uh, worker that is going to be a sister of this worker so this queen would be mother of both these workers and uh, here is also uh, another drone uh, that is going to be father of these two females so uh, as you know all the drones has only one set of chromosomes so let me use uh, red color to designate chromosomes of this drone and uh, of course 
because uh, these two females are deployed, they got 50% of the genome from the father side, so here is the 50% of the genome from the father side. And as you see, father has no choice for the chromosome number 1, 2, 3 and 4. So unlike a queen that can give one of two chromosomes, drone only can give to his progeny only one chromosome uh, from each uh, pair. But uh, drone doesn't have pairs, so no choice here. So two worker sisters would have 50% of the genome absolutely the same that comes from the father side. So this is going to be father of this female and father of this female and uh, this queen would also give another 50% of the genome to her daughters but this time there is a choice. For example, for this chromosome number one, uh, this queen can give to her progeny with uh, this chromosome or this chromosome from uh, her mother side or father side. So this process is random and this gives us probability that 50% of the second set of chromosomes would be the same. So relatedness between two uh, workers or two females uh, would be 75%. So 75% genetic makeup would be the same. And this also can be explanation of uh, your social behavior in honeybees. And I also want to add that uh, not only honeybees has this sex determination system, but also ants and wasps. Another interesting note would be, let me put a line here, uh, that uh, drones has mothers, but uh, do not has fathers. And drones uh, also don't have uh, male progeny or don't have sons, but but may have grandsons and also drones do not have fathers but uh, have grandfathers. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.